Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes, you will see a short example of the type of Solid Edge training material available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the surfacing training and covers the use of the replace face command. The replace face command gives us the ability to replace faces within a solid model with construction surfaces. This gives us the ability to use solid modeling tools and surfacing tools together in order to arrive at the finished result. The replacement faces can either be single faces or multiple faces. If we use multiple faces, they must all come from the same surface body. This means they should be stitched together before performing the replace function. To illustrate some uses for the command, we'll open example 27. This part contains a cutout that was created in the normal manner. At the moment the bottom face of the cutout is planar as we would expect. Perhaps we would like the face to follow the curvature of the outside of the part. To achieve this we can use the replace face function. First though we need to generate a surface to use for the replace face. To do this we'll use the offset surface command. We'll pick the outside face of the part, then enter a distance of 10 millimeters and point the arrow towards the inside to create the surface. The surface is hidden in the part but we'll be able to see it if we turn off the shading. We can then use the replace face command. The first step is to pick the face to be replaced then the face to replace it with. The replacement surface is automatically hidden as the command completes. If required it can be turned back on using the checkbox. If we are using a single surface to replace a face, the surface does not necessarily have to be large enough to encompass the whole face as it will be extended automatically during the replace function. To look at another workflow, we'll show blue surf 1 and 2 by checking them in the Pathfinder. Then so that we can see them more clearly, we'll hide the design body using the context menu. We want to use these surfaces to replace the flat top face of the solid body, but since they are separate at the moment, we first need to stitch them together as shown. Then we'll show the design body again. Then we'll perform the replace face. When replacing a face using multiple surfaces, they need to be large enough to completely encompass the face being replaced. 